Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag hier. The kettlebell is known for being a unique tool. The swing, clean and press and snatch, for example, are so-called differentiators. This means these are exercises the kettlebell is not only made for, but it's also where it shines the most. However, there's an array of exercises that are uncommon, yet still very useful. They're known as the secrets of the Spitznats kettlebell mountaineers from Siberia. Wait, 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 this tagline's already taken? Well, by whom? Ah! <laughs> if you want to build muscle or you're looking for some winning varieties, then check out these exercises. Exercise number one is the bottom-up suitcase walk. This exercise is great for developing your QL muscle and grip strength. The QL stabilizes your hips as well as your lower back. Increased stability means increased performance and less back pain. Exercise number two is the carcass walk. This exercise improves your shoulder mobility. It also requires increased abdominal activation. So get your steps in while looking like a true hunter gatherer. Exercise number three is the double reverse lunge. This exercise is great for strength and stability in your legs, rotator cuff and grip. If done after a press, you not only follow a proper scientific training formula, the dumbbell reverse lunge also serves as a great neutralizer for your shoulder muscles. Exercise number four is the clean and row. A unique adaptation of the regular clean can serve as an additional back exercise. Even though the biceps and lats are already working in a clean, we can increase the demands on those muscles by consciously deaccelerating momentum. This increases the overcoming and yielding part of the muscle. Exercise number five is the goblet hack squat. Beginners sometimes automatically lift their heels when they squat for the first time. If done intentionally, this can bulletproof your knees in a big way. The increased range of motion coming from the hips places bigger demands on the structure of your knees. But first make sure that your knees don't hurt while doing a regular squat though. Exercise number six is the bottom up power snatch. If great Grip strength and control is your focus, this is the exercise to use. The ballistic element of this exercise makes it harder to catch, and for this reason, you have to stay extra aware. Exercise number seven is the split squat press. Joe Rogan did this exercise with dumbbells, but I found that it works quite well with kettlebells. It's essentially a full body exercise with increased demands on stability. Forget a bosu ball. This is the way to go if you want your stabilizers to reach gymnast levels of strength. Exercise number eight is the atomic push-up. This exercise is one of the staples of the TRX, but if done correctly, you can use kettlebells as well. Since your feet are elevated, this means there's more strength required in your abdominals. Pulling your legs in every time you do a push-up also turns this exercise into a rest pause type for your chest. Exercise number nine is the advanced bell reach push-up. If the atomic push-up isn't enough, this might cut it. The ab wheel does a great job for your abdominals, and this is the kettlebell version. Your abs will most definitely feel this one. Exercise number 10 is the sitting squat curl. If you fall into a bodybuilder type mood, try the sitting squat curl and blast your biceps. In the top position, make sure that the bell is still pointing towards the floor. If you lock your position the right way, you can even include some isometrics as well. Exercise number 11 is the reverse fly. Even though you need light weights for this exercise, it's still a valuable option. Stronger traps can be helpful in the snatch as well as the clean and the swing. Also, if your rear delts lack some muscle, this exercise might fix it. Exercise number 12 is the overhead sit-up. This exercise might be problematic for your lower back, so you best be careful. Even though you get a lot of work done for your abdominals in your regular kettlebell training, this can serve some additional benefits. To mitigate the lower back danger, use the front tone du cue by using your arms as a lever. Exercise number 13 is the stone lock clean. If you are into juggling in general, you'll like this one. This exercise is an adaptation to the original Chinese stone locks. Cleaning it on your forearm requires coordination, fine tuning, and forearm strength. Give it a shot. But remember Pavel's cue, quick feet are happy feet. Exercise number 14 is the Zerker squat, a monster of an exercise where you combine abdominal work with leg work. This position also requires some serious work done by your arms. Understanding the front squat movement pattern is a must here. Exercise number 15 is the kneeling thruster. If you want to take anything below your knees out of the equation, try this exercise. The abdominals get a challenge, your hip flexors get work done, and your upper body as well. A full body exercise exercise for advanced lifters. Exercise number 16, the good 
morning. High reps work best for this type of exercise as well as light weights. Weightlifting athletes have to do thousands of back extensions to strengthen the weakest link in the chain, the spine muscles and the lower back. This exercise targets them in an efficient way. Be aware though that you have to have a proper kinesthetic sense. And exercise number 17, the kettlebell twister. This exercise is inspired by my brother Colin Daring, who I consider a trailblazer in kettlebell juggling. This exercise works your abdominals and especially your obliques. The deeper you go with the squat, the more leg work gets involved. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it and consider subscribing. How do you plan to incorporate these exercises in your workout schedule? Let me know in the comments. If you're looking for kettlebell courses that can help you lose weight, build muscle and improve your kettlebell technique, then check out the Laborstock Academy. Let us help you discover a new perspective on kettlebell training, making it simple and easy for you to understand. Join the waiting list of your desired course now and secure your spot when it's open for enrollment. Link is in the description.